Back nine at Muddy Run. Got some ground to make up. Spin it. All right, we're at the back, on the back nine at Muddy Run State Park, Golds, playing for par. If you didn't watch my last, the front nine, go ahead and click over here somewhere, uh, or I'll put it down in the description below. Anyway, I'm playing for a spot in a November tournament. I put some pressure on myself to make myself play, simulate a tournament. So if I, if I hit par, I get to play in the tournament in November. If I don't, I don't get to play. So we're at plus four right now. So we got a lot of ground to make up. So this is hole number 10. How far is this? 580 feet uh, to the left a little bit, way downhill. I'm gonna throw my lariat here. There's just a 30 or 40 foot landing spot down there uh, to give yourself a chance at the birdie here. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult birdie hole for sure, but we're gonna try it. Oh, that was a good kick. Good kick. All right, here we go. This is actually where you want to land. Uh, maybe another, you know, 20, 30 feet up, but uh, this will work. So I've probably got another 200 feet or so to the pins. It's straight down, a little to the right down there. Uh, I'm going to throw my Brazos and try to swing around this grouping of trees in front of me. <sighs> nope. Get down. Get down. Get down. All right, well, that's close. I don't know, we'll see. All right, a little strong, but I mean, right on line. I was just, you know, about 25 feet past. All right. Gotta be more bold with those putts. Gotta be more bold. But we'll take the par and move on. On to 11. 435 foot par four. Um, trying not to get frustrated with myself. Trying to have fun. Just play disc golf and not worry about the reward. Just enjoy being in nature. Awesome fall day. Throwing discs. Okay. Right between the goalposts in front and a hard right. I guess about 150, 180 feet up and then a hard right. Throwing my mad cat here. All right. Whoo, I turned it over. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. All right, here we go. All right, I, I don't think I've ever been here before. There's an OB line right here. Casual rounds, the, the park says that this isn't OB, but in a tournament, because hole 12 is right there, T-Bax is right there, they make this OB. So I always play it as OB. Of course, I'm not, but I'm close. This is as close as I've been. So I'm going straight through here. I've got a quite a ways to get there. Throw my Brazos on a forehand. <sighs> That's all right. I'll live with that. Still a ways to go to get up and down for par. Throw my midi. Hopefully not hit a tree through there. <sighs> get through. Get down. All right, that'll work. All right, another 17 footer here. These are the testers, the ones at tournaments. You're like, you need to make these. Wow, all right. Making things really hard on myself. Bogey, on to 12. 537 foot par four. Uh, this is part of this hole. <laughs> I usually bogey this one and I can't afford any more bogeys right now. So. <sighs> 
I don't know where that finished, but we'll go see. Must have hit something up there and rolled down. Uh, so much stuff in the way here. I'm gonna try, try something over here. All right. I had no shot there, none. All right, pretty long way in. Oh, hit the pole. All right, got the par, good. All right, that's par, on to 13. All right, 287 foot par three. Honestly, from now to the end, I can birdie most all of these holes. This hole I've birdied. 14 I've birdied, 15, 16 I've birdied, 18 I've birdied, 17 I don't think I've ever birdied, but I should be able to birdie. So I have to birdie five out of the six of them. <laughs> but let's just get one at a time. How about that? <sighs> All right. Well, that one's short. Miracle throw in here. Let's go. Nope. Tester putt. Let's go. <laughs> I've, butted, I've been putting so well with this blue bonnet at home. I don't know what's going on here. It's the pressure, I know. All right, on to 14. All right, 732 foot par five up the hill to the left, way down the hill. I switched to a backhand off of this tee. Last time it worked out well. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. All right, if I could walk up and put my disc where I wanted it on this hole from the tee, this is where I would put it. This is, uh, this is the best throw I've ever, like landing, this is the perfect landing spot from the gold, it's perfect. So, now for the, after that build up, <laughs> let's see if I can make the second shot. BB6, down and hopefully hook it, bend it around to the left a little bit there. <sighs> Just like that. Oh, okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> this is right where I want to be. Uh, really nice path, hyzer path to the basket. Basket's right down through here. Throw my jackrabbit. Skip. Oh, that's going to be close. Let's see if we can get it. Of course, the wind's going to kick up. Birdie. Awesome. 15, let's go. 373 foot par four, a million feet uphill. I say that every time on this basket, but it is. It's so far uphill. I don't know if you can notice it on the video. So far uphill. All right. Miss it. Oh, the one I needed to miss. That pretty much ended it. So let's just finish. All right, here we go. All right, got to get up and down for par. Oh! All right. All right, let's go, 16. Uh, hole 16, 737 foot, par four, way downhill, like 80 feet downhill, out in that clump of bushes. 
good stiff headwind, so I'm gonna use my bayonet here. Did you notice that? On my warm up, I don't do my right walk up. Because I changed my walk up. There it is. Wow, that is way, way, way up in the air. The wind got under it. Okay, I should have a straight shot in though. All right, 325 feet out, straight into that group of trees. I'm gonna throw my Mad Cat. It's downhill, so hopefully I can get it underneath the branches. That's a big skip. Too big. Okay. It'll be a long putt, but putt for birdie. All right. So I'm about 40 feet here. Yeah. If it didn't flare skip, would have been much more makeable putt, but I can make this. Yes. For the birdie. Let's go. On to 17. Sorry for the sun. Uh, 519 foot. Yes, I was right. 519 foot par four. Uh, straight. There's a landing strip. You want to end a little left here to give you a better angle up because it's way uphill into the woods up there. I said left. <laughs> so this is the longest drive I've ever had off of this tee, I think. Hold on. Let me. I can. Yeah, about 320 uphill. So that's, uh, that's a good drive for this hole. But if I were 50 feet left, it would be perfect. But I don't have a shot through these trees. So I'm just gonna try to muscle one and hope it hits a gap somewhere. Okay, well that should get me up for the par. Easy shot left to get up and down for par, but definitely makeable. All right, there you go. So normally in a casual round, this is the one, these are ones where I just step up to it, whatever disc in my hand and try to throw it in the basket and miss. <laughs> All right, that's for par, on to 18. All right, 574 foot par four, last hole, I'm three over. Sadly, I'm not gonna make par, so. But I, it could have been a whole lot worse. I'm kind of excited that I battled back the way I did. So let's see if we can birdie this. Get out, get out. Well, that's out there, let's go. Okay, so it took us a while to figure out where my disc landed because it landed maybe 150 feet past where we were looking. <laughs> uh, the hole was 574, I'm 90 feet out. So that was about 460 on the drive. That was crushed, Be best drive by far that I've ever had on this hole. Uh, under 100 feet out, uh, I'll take this. So now this is the shot that you need to be able to make. We'll take it. All right, into a headwind, went a little farther than I thought it did. For the birdie. And that for the round puts me at two over. 
I'll take it. I mean, at one point I was five over and I was looking like I was going to be a lot more over. Wish I had my phone. Circle one putting definitely hurt me today. Uh, my, uh, my up shots definitely hurt me today. Um, but two strokes over par, I'll, I'll take it. Um, didn't make my, didn't make my par, but that's all right. Plenty of more rounds to play. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you're doing well at your course playing for par. Put in the comments below how you're doing. And hopefully from now on, I try to tame my perfectionism and my frustration and just have fun out on the course and play. Till next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.